Hi, I'm Ed Sobey from Kids Invent. We've been working on cars in the preceding uh, three videos and activities, and now we make a big step up in terms of difficulty of building. This is a rubber band powered car. Sounds pretty easy, and you've probably played with some model cars that are, uh, are powered by rubber bands, but it's not so easy to get all the forces exactly right. We start with the basic car model that we've used before. We strip off the balloon, and now we have to attach a rubber band to one of the axles. Now the problems come in this that uh, it's, it's very common that the wheels will spin and the car won't go. So some teams may come up with the idea of adding some friction, maybe hot glue or a rubber band to the wheels. Uh, probably a better solution is to add a little bit of weight directly above the wheels and see if they can get that to go, pushing down on those drive wheels. Probably better for them to use the drive axle as forward drive or front wheel drive rather than wheel re rear wheel drive. But those are all problems for them to solve. They need to come up with a name for their car. They need to record the distance it goes. And in the time that we have, we want to see how far they can get the car to go. At the end, you can talk about what made each model effective or not as effective, and you can challenge them to go home and see if they can build their own rubber band powered car at home, and maybe bring it in in, in the next class period so everybody can see it. 